Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on um, having an unapproved and approved button on the search uh, field also working. All right, so if we come here, I'm just going to correct a few spelling errors. Are you unsure with a question mark at the end? All right, so within the same uh, paragraph tag, we are going to add um, a link. So this is a link to, uh, we'll say unapprove is the first one. Okay, we'll go to our, our path and when we go there, we submit uh, to it. We send a parameter status to false. All right, and then uh, we want to make sure its method is put. So we are targeting the edit, the update method. All right, so there's a bit of a condition here. So we want to say if the uh, params status in the URL, okay, if it is true, that means we are viewing all the um, approved ones, then we want to be able to unapprove. Else, let's just say is the opposite. Okay, we are not viewing approved ones, then we want to um, approve. Okay, so um, just select uh, end and our Ruby code there, select everything and click on the tab to indent. Uh, so let's uh, change some of this. So when it's true, we want to unapprove, that's fine. When it's not true, we then want to approve. And we want to set the status to true. All right, so that's true there. All right, so both of them are put methods. Now, when we come here, we refresh, we have approved there. The status is false. So when we go on to uh, approve, we have unapproved down below and we are ready to start coding it. All right, so in the controller uh, for the update method, we want to uh, get from the parameters uh, from the param status, okay. So if the update want to update just one uh, column in the database status column, if that status, okay, we'll take the params and put in there. If it's updated successfully, then we want to redirect uh, to uh, back to where we started from and just set the notice to something. Okay, successfully updated comments. And if for some reason something went back, went wrong, then we could go back and we can also say there was a problem updating comment. All right, so let's give this a, a go. So everything else is fine there. So if we're going to our view, I will click on unapprove. It says successfully updated and is taking that off into approved section. So unapproved is gone. So if I go to approved, so those unapproved ones are now here. And in here, we also have um, unapproved, which we can click on. And if we go to approve, we can click on unapproved and vice versa. So we can now approve and unapprove our things. Okay, so that's what we wanted to do. When we click on approve, it disappears from this page and goes into the um, approved page. Okay, so here we can say the approved, we have done that. We can mark approved to not approved and we can mark not approved to approved. All right, so now we have um, the search and um, we want to do that. So we've done it before. So I'm gonna say command P go to view, posts, actually go to view, then admin, and within admin we have post, and within post we have index. All right, so click on that and copy uh, the search from the posts index and go into our comments index and paste it in there. All right, so we want to change the path. Uh, so we have comments path, so that's the index of comments. So when we click on submit, we are sending uh, a params, so we basically say if that params exists, so if params search dot present, 
with a question mark it means that we've landed on this page by searching for something all right else go ahead and do our usual find all right so i say comment uh let's say comments dot so now we want to find both comment and visitors okay so i can say here join a visitor to this uh, query okay so search both visitor and comment for where uh, either full name from visitor um, or uh, here is message from comment okay like I like the information that we are sending from our, our params the search params so the first question mark will be replaced with um, this params search and we can copy the same uh, param search uh, to replace the second question mark for the message all right so let's go back into the view and refresh and we have our search and we can search for sophie copy the first one paste it in there and it gives us the record so it found it for us and we can search for something else and it gives us uh, all the records that match so the search is working uh, for comments i'm going to add pagination simply by saying page and params uh, page here all right so we can copy this and make sure we do the same for when we search so it's paginated over there and just as we have in the posts uh, down here we have page eight we want to do the same uh, down here so we can say uh, page eight comments okay all right so now we have uh, completed um, our search functionality um, and we can toggle approve and unapprove so we have this here and we also have uh, the same search in the comment section so in the next video we are going to refactor so we don't like copying and pasting the same codes across different uh, objects so we can see how we could refactor that and the same here we can see how to extract some of this method uh, to the model layer so it's uh, a lot easier to read in the controller all right and uh, over here we can say that we have completed everything for the comments so i can click here and shade it off and the same with this here all right so this is where uh, we are going to end this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson